Okay guys, we're doing chicken breasts in a jar and I'm going to par cook these and we're going, we are going to put fluid in each jar. Uh, you're going to want to chop your chicken up into big chunks like this, big bite sized pieces and then season with no salt seasoning like Mrs. Dash and then we're going to put um, in a pot and just par cook, just basically brown all sides. I use this one frequently. I add about a quarter of a teaspoon of canning salt to each jar. I have about 12 cups of water and two tablespoons of the Better Than Bouillon. You can use any type of bouillon you want um, just to make a nice broth. Okay, so that should it look, that is what it should look like when you've pretty much par cooked it. You just want to get it, uh, get the pink out. Okay, fill each jar. I did start out with eight large chicken breasts, just so you guys know. And some people ask why I par cook first. The reason I par cook it is because I feel it keeps in the moisture and it keeps its shape. If you don't do that, I feel like it shreds a little easier and makes it more like flaky instead of a whole pieces of breast. Okay, you want to ladle in your broth or chicken stock up to the top little ring right here on the jar. You know the drill. Wipe your rims with vinegar. Place your warmed lids on your jar and finger tighten. Okay, I'm going to load into the canner. I have a tray in the bottom and I put about a quarter cup of vinegar in my water. I'm using my All-American. Secure your um, lid, and you're going to want to do lightly do each side at a time. Now tighten down securely, all the way around. By the way, yes, you debubble. I've left out that, that part on the video. Okay, let vent for 10 minutes. That's steam coming out of there for 10 minutes straight. Okay, you're going to put your weight on and you're gonna bring it up to pressure. Okay, I want the canner to get up to 10 pounds of pressure and I'm gonna process this for 90 minutes. Okay, this is what it looks like to go up, to be up to correct pressure on my All-American canner. I know you guys were asking to show a little bit more video with me using it and it's at a sweet spot right now. All is well. 90 minutes. That made five quarts. And it will last at least a year, guys, or more.